remember that uh, one of the verses I love is uh, the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. The Bible also says that none are righteous. So it's kind of, you think, you think that's a contradiction, but you've got to remember that when we accept Christ and we take him into our hearts, it's not our righteousness, it's his. And that's why the prayers are answered. So we love you, and if during this time we want you to know that we're praying for everybody out there who uh, has been stricken by this illness. Uh, we've got friends, close friends, that have passed away from it and have been ill from it. So just praying that God will come in and heal our land. Hi, everybody. It's Omar, Luck of the Irish. How are all you leprechauns doing out there today? Well, it's Friday, and I know we're supposed to have a report up for you, but we don't currently have a fishing report for you because we were busy getting ready this last week for the Fun and Sun in-house tackle show and boat show and so forth. It was a great time up there in Hearst. Uh, lot of, saw a lot of good people, saw a lot of new products, uh, some old products, and some friends. And so I thought I'd just go over some of the new products and even some of the ones that uh, I've got from some old-time sponsors and some friends. One of the things I'm excited about is these new, well, they're, not, they're new to me, but they're an Alabama rig and they're made by a Yeah Baby. And I talked to them. I really, really like these uh, Alabama rigs. I, I cheaped out and I bought some on Amazon and I downrigged with them this year. And let's just say the stripers on <laughs> Tawakadee were not kind. They flat destroyed them. They broke swivels off of the ones off of Amazon. They did all kinds of damage. But one of the things that I really am excited about, about these Yeah Baby Alabama rigs, is the different styles they've got. They've got this one that has one large willow leaf blade. I, hopefully you can see that. That blade is just... That's a monster blade, and that is going to put off a lot of fat flash and vibration down there. So I got these actually for sand bass. They're uh, a three-wire, and I don't know why that won't absolutely work with that big flashing blade down there. They come in a great, in great packaging. Uh, they show you on the back how to spread the uh, arms open so you don't uh, stress them out and break them. Uh, and they use VMC hooks in all of their jig heads, so you know that that's a great hook. Matter of fact, I'm sponsored by VMC, so I'm glad to see that. Last year, again, I cheaped out and bought some uh, screw-in hooks off of Amazon, and again, the stripers weren't kind. They straightened some of them out. But we did manage to get some really nice fish in. I'll have a picture of those that we got on these down on downrigging uh, Alabama rigs. It's made right here in Texas. So if you're here in Texas, uh, you can get these. They're reasonable. Uh, I think they're $15 for these three blade ones and $18 for the uh, five blade one that I got. So uh, this one actually can have five baits on it and it has the smaller. Um, let me get it out of here has a smaller willow leaf, five, four smaller leaf willow leaf blades that you can use. And looking at it uh, and looking at the relationship they have with VMC hooks, I'm sure this is also VMC uh, tackle, in tackle, the swivels and so forth. So you know those are going to hold up. They, they look like they're really large. They're going to really hold up well. The other thing I like about it, instead of them putting a, a brace or something on the arm, to hold the, the blade in place, they've actually just got a little place where it can only slide so far up or down. So that's that's kind of unique in some uh, a lot of the uh, Alabama rigs that I've seen. So I'm really excited to have these guys uh, on board and using their baits this year. Uh, when it comes time to down rig, I don't know why these baits won't absolutely kill the fish. So. I just wanted to show those to you. Again, it's Yeah Baby. They're made here in Texas. I'll see what I can do about finding links. They've got a yeahbaby.com as their website. But I'm going to go ahead and try and put some links down in the description on all these products that I got. I think they're really great. Um, one of my longtime sponsors since last year 
is 4B baits and jig heads. And they have some new stuff that I can't wait to try in the creek this year for Sandy's. Um, they've got these little curly tail grubs, which is not anything new, but the new thing that they've done is they have actually, on the end of it, they have actually put a little paddle tail on the end of the curly tail. So that means that it is going to have just all kinds of action and I am so looking forward to fishing that. I don't know if you can see that little curly tail, but it's on there. I know it's bouncing around, but this is just, this is kind of a unique. I have not seen a curly tail grub with a paddle tail on it, so I'm really, really, look, I'm looking off, off, off camera to Miss Debbie because she's over here with a whoop look on her face, but yeah, I'm just really looking forward to fishing with these. Uh, and I got several different colors. I got the short, you, you know me and chartreuse. I love chartreuse. I don't care what it is. So I'm really looking forward to trying those. And this is a, this is what they call a monkey milk color, but he calls it something else. And it's his little three inch, uh, I don't know what you call that little nub minnow. And I'm, I'm looking forward again to using that for Sandy's. I don't know why that won't absolutely kill him. But a lot of cool stuff there. And then he's got his donk sauce, which uh, it's really unique. It's got sparkles all in it. And I'm gonna be putting it on a lot of baits this year to see how well it helps me catch fish. I don't know, here in dead sticking time, I don't know why that wouldn't work. He actually knows people that actually just take it and squirt it around the boat to get that scales and that glitter going down so it looks like uh, bait fish being fed on. So, again, another really cool, cool product from 4B Baits. He does not have jig heads any longer, but Jonathan and I, Captain Jonathan and I managed to pick up a lot of different jig heads, and we're looking forward to fishing with them. He has all of these on clearance, I believe, uh, on his website. The jig heads he has left, so you can get them at a steal right now, hopefully. And this is something Jonathan and I are really looking forward to. This is his bluegill kit. And he has got a 32nd ounce jig head in there. And all these little bitty, little grubs. And next month, February 21st, we are going to go to Lake Fairfield and see what we can do about wearing out some big bluegill on the beds. So it's going to be a great time. It's a, it's a, a, a power plant lake, and I can't wait to get that video up for you guys and show you just how well these little soft plastics for bluegill work. It's going to be a good time. So, yeah, I, I don't ever buy anything in one, so I've got all kinds of these. Uh, everything you can see, I, I, I buy more than one because if I don't, then that's the one thing that the fish want. And then I've been using Bonehead for a long time. I applied to get on their pro staff this year, Bonehead Tackle. Uh, they have also have a, a uh, scent so that we can put on the baits. So I'm gonna try that as well. And then as always, I have to get the purple from Bonehead Tackle for Tawakening. I don't know what it is about purple, but they love the purple. And of course, I have to get some more short truths too. So. This is all just really good stuff. I mean, if you didn't make it out to the tackle show, I feel like you missed out. There were a lot of people that didn't show up uh, or didn't come, and it was the attendance was down. But I'm telling you what, the product case showcase was was up. We had a lot of great people there. Uh, Pink Fishing was there with their tournaments. Uh, that's the the foundation that raises money for uh, breast cancer and breast cancer awareness. Bonehead Tackle was there. Four B Bakes was there. TFO Rods was there. Uh, just a lot of great products and a lot of great people had a good time. Miss Debbie, as you all know, cooked breakfast. So if you weren't there, you missed out. But they fired her because she wasn't there on Sunday to cook. So they, they said, you know, it's job abandonment. You know, we, we just got to find somebody else. But anyway, that's a joke. Everybody loved everything she cooked for us. I did too. And last but not least is my friends at Brady's Bait Box. Uh, I love their bait boxes. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, for the money, you get a lot of great products. And for January, we got the San Diego Jam Knot and then a description of everything we got. But I'm excited because I'm telling you right now, I love Kalen's Grub Tails. I have fished with Kalen's Grub Tails since I was a kid. I fished with these for walleye up in the panhandle when I was 14, 15, 16. They've been around a long time. 
They make a lot of great baits. Uh, generally, I don't use uh, this color, but that's not to say it's not a great color. I like white chartreuse. Uh, anything that actually kind of looks like a bluegill too will really work well for me. And they're just you get a you get a. I mean, I got a whole package of these things, and I can guarantee you I'm going to be fishing with them. I'm, I'll probably try these in the creek along with uh, some of uh, stuff from Brad over at Four B Baits, and then I got this. The Mogwell Bobby Garland baits are awesome baits. Uh, I love uh, their little minnow stuff and things like that for what I fish for. But this is the Moglo. It glows. And this is another bait that I will probably try in the creeks. I don't know why that won't catch fish. That's just a great, great fish catching machine. And we got a package of jig heads. And this is an awesome jig head. I can tell it's got the uh, the different safe hook in it. I think these are all VMC hooks as well. But I'm looking forward to trying that. And even some more smaller grubs from Young. And this, of course, has sin in it and everything else already included in it. But, I mean, so far I've already got four four things, five things, four things out of this box, and, and it's all stuff that I'm going to use to catch fish, I can guarantee you. And then we also got a very shallow uh, running crankbait from Bandit. Bandit makes a great product. I mean, I've caught a lot of fish on this that's got a rattle in it. This is something I'll throw. I mean, it's a shad pattern. You can see that that's a shad pattern. I'll be throwing that in April for stripers, hybrids, and sand bass when the, when the shad are up shallow spawning. That, on the windblown points, you don't have to worry about it diving and getting hung up. The other thing about it is, anytime you're fishing shallow, you want as near a surface bait as you can without it necessarily running on the surface because generally it's going to be a windblown point. But if, if it dives too fast and goes down too deep, you're going to be below the strike zone for the fish because the fish always feed up. So you want a bait that's going to run near the surface that these fish will see going over the top of them and ambush from underneath. So again, I'm, I'm looking forward to throwing this in April. And the last thing we have is a frog. Uh, do me a favor and combat, comment down below if you want this boss frog. I don't largemouth fish, but if you've got a use for this snag proof boss frog or bass, boss, boss rat, it's a boss rat, comment below with your with your email address or email me or call me and I'll, I'll pick somebody out to give this boss rat to. If you're a largemouth bass fisherman and you want this boss rat, I'll send it to you. So again, just a lot of really great stuff. Uh, you know, the very in, I, I really like the packaging from Yeah Baby. I mean, you've got your jig heads in a separate package. You've got, it, it's, it's in there. It's, it's not going anywhere. So, I'm sorry, this five spade, yes, yeah, $18 for this one and $15 for the uh, three, three arm with the large uh, willow blade, willow leaf blade, that one right there. But, you know, come on, guys. Uh, hopefully, next year we'll see more of you out there at the show. We'd love to. Miss Bevy, if she can get hired back on, she'll probably cook some breakfast. So, we love y'all. Miss Bex, Miss Bevy's not. Is kind of feeling under the weather. She's got a sinus infection, so do us a favor and say a prayer for her. Bye.